We started with the full tillage system. There has to be a better way. We were trying to disc around wheat fields, you know, and setting them on fire, you know, and, and that was disastrous. Mm. We knew we had to change. Mm. Uh, when we started, it was conventional. We could make a field look like a powder house yeah, yeah, before we yeah. before we wanted to put seed in it, and then we'd sit back and pray for rain and hope <laughs> that it came up. I can remember the first time that I was in a cotton field picking cotton with a bag across my shoulder, dragging it. It was probably about like a six-year-old boy picking cotton by hand so with you, other people. You truly were a cotton picker. Yeah. So, <laughs> and I can remember Dad rolling up, the uh, John Deere people rolling up with a basket in the picking unit. And I can remember everybody picking cotton just stopped and we were amazed, you know, everybody quit work. <laughs> so um, you've grown cotton so continuously. So we've all grown all. cotton all, all ever since we came back to the farm, mm -hmm. did he picked up growing cotton probably, like I say, back in 61 when he first came, he didn't grow, but a couple of years. Cotton's been good to us. I grew up stomping cotton in a in cotton wagons. Me and my brothers would get in there and jump it down, old basket pickers, and that was in the early to mid 80s. And then we actually quit growing cotton. We got in the dairy business along with the row cropping and, and did a lot of things, but full circle we've come back and three years ago I planted my first individual cotton crop. Started with conventional, went into strip till cover, and then we went into peanuts uh, in that part of our rotation and I brought cotton back because I really wanted to see what cotton would do, you know, with diverse rotation cover crop species and now it's only my third year, you know, growing the crop personally since I was a kid. If we combine both of y'all's stories, it gets to mine. Our family's farmed since the early 1900s uh, in Scotland Egg, so I'm fifth generation. And we had cotton way back when we started. They also had a dairy. As the dairy grew, they let cotton go. And we got out of the dairy in the mid 70s. And my dad wanted to do hogs. So we did hog production until 95. And when we saw that hogs for us were on the way out, my father made the decision to start growing cotton. So that's where cotton came into our picture. We started messing around with some multi species covers, and then eventually that led me into wanting to try no till. I'm making just as good as crops, if not better crops, I think now. That's an amazing thing to me. <laughs>